night, not for all the Jews in the crowd. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have been for more. I could have spread my wings and done a So, where do you talk to me about where you feel? I have my own ideas, but where do you feel you're singing when you're singing? Uh, when I sing that, I kind of feel it here mm -hmm. more so. Mm -hmm. um, kind of higher up rather than back. Okay. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, I know. You have a very, you have a very beautiful, sweet voice. Thank and, you. Absolutely. And um, I think. I feel, what I feel, and I don't know if your teachers talk to you about this, is I feel like a lot of, you know, what we want, what we aim to do with our voices is, is of course, communicate and also have, they have to come from a very deep place in order mm -hmm. to be the most, you know, ebullient, wonderful, to find your true, true sound, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the things that we can start to work on today is, having you feel a little bit more in your in your body where the breath comes from. And uh, I don't know if I talked about this a little bit in my master class, but the way, if, if you can become kind of very, um, if you can make breath your most, the most exciting thing that you can talk about with regards to singing, because when somebody has a natural voice like you do, um, the voice doesn't need to really be worried about so much. It's and, and not that you have to worry about anything, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be. It's not. A, it's not. A, um, it doesn't need to come first. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful sound, and it'll always be beautiful. But what makes it? What 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 does really help the voice? And what needs to be a focus is breath, mm -hmm. and allowing the breath to flow freely, and also to have control over the breath, so that it you can make it do what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that. Um, the the earlier that you can become begin to become in touch with that kind of idea that the breath is actually what sound is secondary and the breath is what mm -hmm. really makes the sound happen. Are you do you know about the you're very smart, but do you know and have you so you must have heard of like the Bernoulli effect? I haven't heard of the Bernoulli effect. The Bernoulli effect is it's physics. It's physics. Oh. It's, phys it's physics. It's <laughs> physics. Um, but you know you never know. I never know your. I'm, I'm just going to get two pieces of paper and I'll show you what it is. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. It has to do with wind being channeled through. Um, for instance, you know, if you have a wind Did and you, you stand the between these two buildings, the wind actually accelerates between the two buildings. Yeah. Right. So these two pieces of paper are your vocal cords. Mm -hmm. And when you blow. Through them. Do you see how they yeah, come together at the bottom? Yeah. When it's done, let <laughs> me do it. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? You yeah. saw it that one time, that's good enough. That's what happens with your voice. So the faster the air goes, the higher and uh, higher, the more chord reduction you'll have, the more they stretch, the higher it should be able to sing. And the lower, the slower airflow, um, it's, well, in the middle, it's a little bit slower. In the bottom, I think that it's still, you can think of it more fast because it's at the extreme and when you get into kind of like a chesty kind of sound, mm -hmm. it needs a little bit more um, subglottal air mm -hmm. pressure in order to make that work properly. Yeah. Okay, so right now I feel like when you sing, and you can tell me if you, it basically feels like it comes from here, true? Mm -hmm. 
I don't see a lot going on. It's very great because you're very calm, but I don't see a lot going on down here. Not that you ever want to see a lot, right? But, but there needs to be some kind of engagement that we'll talk about more specifically mm -hmm. that allows this to have and to have the air hit your architecture better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that you sound, that you have a the the sound that I think that you would probably want to have and that you mm -hmm. meant to have. Can you talk to me a little bit about um, how you hear yourself and and about how you feel about So like voice? how I like hear my voice? Yeah, how you hear your voice and and how you would like to hear your voice and all that. Um, I think that when I sing, I guess I, I hear it, well I think it sounds, um, I don't know, it's like when you hear some people sing like, I guess the way that sometimes it sounds rather breathy, like breathy or more mm. crisp, like stuff like that. Like I think depending on how warmed up I am and like what type of song, like mm -hmm. it sounds more like that. And I kind of, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. Is that yeah, I mean, are you saying that you, you feel, do you feel like you, you imitate with your voice more than you create? something yeah, like, I feel like, that's original. Yeah, I feel like I'm really good at doing that. I think you are too. Like people, like I mean, that's what my I got, teachers have told me. Yeah. So. How do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't, I guess they're, I don't really know what I sound like. I mean, I guess that when I just sing, I sing. And I don't mm -hmm. know, I guess I tend to go towards more like what I heard before mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, so I mean, I as really a young know. singer, of course, it's very easy to imitate because yeah. we're still finding ourselves. Yeah, so I don't really know, I guess, what I really sound like, but yeah, I don't know if there's like a, a defined, I don't know if that makes sense. Like yeah, it, to it totally it makes sense. <laughs> All right. Which is actually, it's interesting if I may, it's because sometimes I can't tell if it's her or a recording in her room when she's singing, because she sounds just like the recording. Right. Does well, that make sense? It, does, it totally does. And I noticed that as well when you were singing the mm -hmm. I Could Have Danced All Night. I mean, there's something going on inside of you that is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you could, have, you could have interpreted that with Since There Is No Accompaniment in so many different ways. Right. But there's something, you know, inside of you that is playing that you're hearing and then... Mm -hmm. It's coming out. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I feel like there's kind of like a detachment from Maggie in a way mm -hmm. when that happens. And I think that we can do something to allow you to feel a little bit more free about the way that you create. So getting into your body is, is as I said, is very, very important. And the, there are many different types of, of breath support that teachers um, I like... I think that a combination of, um, well, I think lateral breath support is the way to go. So it's a, an outward... Back down, yeah. Yes, except most teachers stop there. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you tell me about your breath support experience and what, what people have said to um, you? Well, the teachers I've been with have mm -hmm. always said to kind of just like fill the space and kind of get it from under. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I almost imagine like you're like a, like a hose and like okay. going from under, getting the air from like around, up, like going down and up. I don't know. What, what is that exactly? That. I don't know exactly how to explain that either. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like they, they tried to like picture it like that almost. Okay. And you're getting it from around. That's yeah. terrific. <laughs> what What if it was just as simple as like letting your belt buckle expand outwards? That'd be really awesome. Okay. That'd be really cool. So. Fill yourself there and just let it go out. Okay, great. You're a skinny girl. That's all the that <laughs> that is the expansion. You can feel. Put your hands right here and right there. Yeah. Do you feel the expansion in the back yeah. and the front? Yeah. That's all it is. It's just, just that release. That is the starting position. Okay. Then, as you want to make the so sound is acceleration. If you didn't have acceleration of of sound and singing is acceleration. If you didn't constantly keep the air accelerating in order to sustain a pitch, it's like driving on a freeway at 55 miles an hour. You can never let your foot off of an accelerator if you want to maintain speed. Mm -hmm. Same with singing. You can never let your foot off of the accelerator, which is your diaphragmatic muscle, which pushes up on the air 
that's in your lungs and compresses it through the vocal apparatus. Almost like when, like, it's kind of like a little bit of a vomit sensation. Mm -hmm. have, you ever, have you ever thrown up? Yes. <laughs> then you can be a great singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that kind of, of, of sensation is what, uh, is the muscles that you want to engage in order to send the air and compress the air out of, um, out of, through the laryngeal, uh, process and then out into the resonators. Okay. All right. And, um, that's very, very easily accessed. So when you have your hands here and you do that, then what, in order to feel this kind of upward thing, it's, you just press, press in here underneath your belly button. That's the motion. That you want it as you breathe you out? As, as, not as you breathe out, because you never breathe out when you sing. Mm -hmm. You only take in air, and then you expel air with the voice. It's very different than breathing out. It doesn't feel like that mm -hmm. at all. It's a very mm -hmm. compressed sensation. And that's what, why the terminology became support, because it really does feel very strong in mm -hmm. your body. All right, I'll show you. Um, an example of um, of what I mean. You can put your hand on my on my stomach here. Go 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 gay 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 gay. And then when you go down to the bottom, do you feel? That was really feel, good. <laughs> that was so good. Like that. Do do you feel how you when you, when you go to the bottom? When you sing down into the voice, it has to, this ha this muscle comes up further right. in order to get, to eke out the last, for the phrase, you know, also yeah. that was all in one breath. Mm -hmm. So, this muscle contracts in a way that you can get a, a slightly further contraction, as, I don't know if anybody has ever talked to you about tucking your butt or whatever. Mm -hmm, but This is not something that I don't want you mm -hmm. going away from here being like, Aaron's like told me to talk like a bunch. I could have danced. <laughs> no, that's not that's not what I want at all. But just slightly, it's just like a slight reverse pelvic tilt. Mm -hmm. This is the normal pelvic tilt to maintain the curve in your back. Mm -hmm. It's just slightly taking that curve away, and it allows this muscle to get a little bit higher and compress the air out of your lungs a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was really cool. Like, I actually like felt it almost like go. Yeah. So. Up. Yeah. The, we're gonna do an exercise now. All right. <laughs> yeah, you do. It does. It goes. It goes. Yeah. Like you're vomiting. Really. Yeah. It's like and like a baby crying. You know, babies can sit on their backs and cry <laughs> for hours. Yeah. They're like fabulous little yeah. opera singers. Really, you know. And loudly. Yeah, and loudly because yeah. it's a perfectly supported sound. It's, it costs them nothing to do that because they're just totally accessing. And as we grow older. You know, we control ourselves in certain ways, and we kind of lose contact with that. But mm -hmm. as singers, we're really lucky because we get to be back in contact with Neat. the breath, and it's just—it's so good for living life. Period. Do you know what I mean? It makes yeah. you a better person, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so, one, before we do the vocal exercise, grab a hold of the of the stein, right? Thank you. Right under there. Okay. Yeah. And I just want you to to feel like you're lifting it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you feel your stomach? When you lift it, do you feel your stomach kind of go out a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so lift and keep your feet on the ground. And say, go, 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 go. go. Okay, let me do it, and I want to show you what I want you to feel. Okay. Put your hand on my stomach right here. Go, go, go. Yeah. Is okay. that happening? I also noticed a little bit of the... Your pelvic <laughs> shift. I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Do you want to do mine? Yeah. No, mind. Okay. Go, 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 go. Right. So as opposed to out, 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 right. it's go, go, go from right below your belly button. Go, mm -hmm. go, go. Go. Go, go. That. 